so awkward on first dates. I went out with a guy a couple of months ago and I was so nervous and so awkward and then when I turned up I thought he looked so damn attractive that it made me more nervous that I couldn't eat dinner so we're sitting there and he's got his food and I just have a drink <laughs> and I think he thought it was really weird because I don't I didn't eat but it's just because he was so good looking that it made me feel nervous so yeah if you're watching you're probably not but you know who you are I do eat I do eat trust me I eat <laughs> just not when I'm around you guys so I was tagged by Heartful XO to do the first dates tag so I thought that's what I'd do for you today. I know I only uploaded a tag video last week but I really like this tag so I thought why not film another one for you. I've got the questions here so let's just jump straight in. The first question is how long does it take you to get ready for a first date? Now being a first date I'm obviously going to be trying to impress you so I'm going to take my time showering, doing my hair, makeup, things like that so either one to two hours, one and a half, something like that. The second question is what is your idea of the perfect first date? Now I have very strong op opinions on this. Contrary to popular belief, I think movies are the worst, worst first dates. First, second, third, no. Save it until you're like a proper couple down the line because movies, you can't talk in, it's just awkward. You end up sitting there with your hand like awkwardly on the hand railing, like is he gonna hold my hand, is he not? Ooh, and then the whole time you're just focusing on them not watching the movie and it's just a whole pile of awkward. So, <laughs> My ideal first date would be just dinner or coffee, something real casual where you can chat. Um, a couple of months ago I actually went on a first date with somebody and we went ice skating and that was really fun. So either something like that, like something adventurous, something that you can do together or just sit down. Food will always win my heart, so anything that involves food really. The third question is what do you gravitate towards wearing on a first date? Um, I guess it depends what you're going to be doing on the first day, but just anything I'm comfortable in, I would probably normally gravitate, gravitate? I'd normally gravitate more towards possibly jeans than a dress, um, just because I'm more comfortable in jeans. So probably black high waisted jeans and a nice top, probably. The fourth question is what is your makeup and perfume choice for the date? Um, I would probably try to keep my makeup quite minimal um, because I think guys can often be a bit freaked out with girls with a lot of makeup. Um, so just like a really minimal maybe look like I'm wearing today. Like I'd still, I still like to do it because that's what I'm into. Um, so I'm not going to be anything different than what I'm not. So I'd probably just do like a shimmery eye, nude lip, bronze skin, something really simple and nice. Um, my perfume of choice is the perfume that I wear almost every day, which is Taylor Swift's Wonderstruck. Fifth question, your date says you have half an hour to be ready, what do you do? First of all, why are you pressuring me mate? First date, why is it so rushed? <laughs> um, so once I've gotten over that, uh, I guess I just throw my hair up, put a bit of makeup on if I'm not wearing makeup, and go. You've only given me half an hour to get ready, so we can't be expecting a masterpiece, you know. So. I don't know, just get ready as fast as I can. <laughs> okay, so I'm just gonna read out this next question because it's quite long. So, your date asks to pay for the bill. Do you A, offer to pay with actual intention of paying, B, make a fuss with no intention of paying, or C, make him pay straight away? Um, usually I will offer to pay half just because I think that's polite and obviously with the intention of paying. Um, but if they insist on paying, then I'm not going to fight them about it. <laughs> um, but it just depends, I guess, on what the date is, how expensive it is, who invited who out, whose idea it was. I don't know, I don't really have any set rules. I'm not always thinking that the guy should always pay and I don't feel offended if somebody wants to pay for me. So it depends. The next question, do you go out with him again? 
well I guess it depends on how well it's gone um, if you've got good banter if we had fun if it wasn't awkward then sure why not although even if the first day was awkward and you like them I still would go out with them again because first dates are always awkward especially with me um, I'm just really awkward on dates especially if I really like you um, yeah last question it's time to say goodbye do you a wave b hug c kiss on the cheek or d peck on the lips now like I was just saying I can be quite awkward on the first date and I'm genuinely not the type to make the first move because I'm so awkward so I'm not opposed to a kiss on the first date if I really like you but I will never go for that like I will never make the first move um, so it probably ends in hugs most of the time and this you're yeah, gonna go for it Okay, so that was all the questions for the tag today, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Next, I'm going to tag Smay and Charlie and Chin. So you guys go and do that tag. I look forward to seeing your answers. For the rest of you, I'll see you on Monday for a new makeup video. See you then.